Welcome to a new art activity with Teacher Ruana. Today we are going to explore etching and we are going to make a scraper board activity. Let's start! Let's quickly explore a few examples of scraper board art. Wow, it's so pretty! Please take a moment and read this with me. Etching. Say the word etching. Well done! Definition of etching 1a. The action or process of etching. B. The art of producing pictures or designs by printing from an etched metal plate. 2a. An etched design. Or B. An impression from an etched plate. Good! elements and design principles in etching. The scraper board technique gives you a chance to explore line, tone and texture by using scraping or scratching marks. Instead of a line being black, as it would be when you draw with a pencil, the line is white or in colour. I'm sure you already know the elements of art, but let's quickly revise them. Number one, say it with me, line. Yes, add line to your scraper board artwork. Two, shape, beautiful shapes. Three, color. Well, you are going to color your scraper board with wax crayons, and that's going to add color to your artwork. Value. Another name for value? Tone. It's the degrees of lightness and darkness. You may add value when you color with your wax crayons. For example, dark blue and light blue. Then form. You are going to create form when you etch out a specific pattern or picture. Texture. It's beautiful to create texture in an etching artwork. And then space is used to create the illusion of depth. Space can be two-dimensional, three-dimensional, negative and or positive space. So add the art elements. To make an etching artwork, you are mostly going to use line. So practice different types of line. Broken lines, thick, thin, dotted lines, wavy, curly, vertical, straight, or spiral or parallel, horizontal, vertical, long and curved lines. Quickly practice a few in your journal or sketch pad. Etching creates a texturized look, so familiarize yourself with texture. Smooth, rough, hard, soft, woven, bumpy, jagged or rigid. Quickly practice in your sketch pad. Quickly say the word contrast. Yes, it means the difference between two things. I'm sure you already know that. Right. Strong contrasts exist in most scraper boards because the object drawn is either white or colorful and the rest black. Shapes and lines are usually only black or white or in color. Interesting lines, tones, textures and shapes are created by using different ways of scratching and etching. Look at the example here on the right. For the part that you've been waiting for, make your own scraperboard artwork. Come on, artists, let's get started. You have two options. Keep on watching. Planning in five quick steps. Step one generate an idea. What's our idea? We want to make a scraperboard artwork. Step two choose your art form. In this case, it's going to be etching. Step three, plan the composition. So what are you going to draw? In this case, it's going to be a still life artwork or it could be anything else for that matter. Step four, create the artwork. Remember to work very neatly. Step five, evaluate your artwork. Look at it again and decide what am I going to do differently next time or what do I love and like the most about this artwork and what did I learn from this? 
option one where you use black paint you will need paper wax crayons or oil pastels black tempera paint or powder paint it must be black then obviously a paintbrush a small amount of dishwashing liquid your etching scraper board tools for example a spoon or a fork pencil toothpick ruler or screwdriver etc and seven a hair dryer step one cover the white side of the cardboard with a thick layer of either white wax crayon if you want to create that look or with multiple colors make sure that there are no gaps in the wax layer done with step one it should look like this but you may change the patterns it's up to you now you are done with step one and ready to paint in a bowl mix one part dish soap to two parts black paint preferably black tempera paint not oil paint paint over the crayon design with one layer of the paint mixture air dry or blow dry your scratch board that's why you need the hair dryer remember do not scratch off the paint until it is completely dry when the paint is dry, use some scraping tools and create your own design. If you don't have black paint available, try option 2 with wax crayons only. You will need paper, wax crayons or oil pastels, and then your etching scraper board tools, for example a spoon, a fork, pencil, toothpick, ruler, screwdriver, whatever you have available. If you choose option 2, it's going to work like this. Quickly look at the image. You are going to cover your white paper with wax crayons in many different colors. When you are done with that, you are going to cover it a second time with a second layer of black only. So that's going to replace the black paint look. And then you're going to go ahead and scratch out your lovely design. You don't need to buy expensive scratching tools. You may use things at home. For example, a fork. Look at the beautiful technique you can create with a fork. Or a spoon, a screwdriver, maybe your ruler or a pencil. Try some new things. Be unique. Find interesting ways to scratch out a lovely artwork. Start with your activity. Remember everyone, it's important to work in a friendly environment. That's where you can explore your ideas and be creative. So listen to music and make art fun. And remember to clean up your workstation afterwards. If you are making your artwork for school purposes, make sure you look at the rubric. It'll give you a better idea and understanding of what to add in your artwork. Well done! Please share a picture of your artwork with us and please give this video a thumbs up. See you next time everyone. It was nice spending time with you. Remember, you are awesome. Until next time, bye!